Comes Zach Booties now for Minnesota. Drops it back. Condon's been hot. He shoots. He scores! And the Gophers strike at 121. Condon has scored goals in three straight games. And it's rocking here at Mariucci. Great play by Booters. Not only making the drop pass, but impairing the vision of Summerhays. Watch the captain make the drop pass, drive the net. Summerhays never sees that puck coming early on. Let's help Minnesota. We're going to get a play from behind and a penalty call yeah, here. There's going to be a penalty on Peter Schneider. And the Gophers will jump on the power play with the best power play in the WCHA. Nick Condon has made it one nothing Minnesota. From the hash, one, two, three, four, five fighting Irish players are there. And they score! It's Sam Warnick. A full strength goal for Minnesota in a mad scramble in front of Steve Summerhays. How do you like that? Ambrose might get a helper. His stick turned into a helicopter. Went yeah. flying near the rafters. It was a mass of humanity. Look at all the bodies. But there are five bodies in blue, only three in white. And somehow, Sam Warning, the smallest body on the ice, yeah. wins that, gets possession, and rifles it home. Coach Jackson cannot be happy. You can see the stick being fluttered away. Five on three as far as bodies go in the slot. Yeah. Now, around a check. Costello driving score. It got away from Wilcox. That is an even strength goal that just popped away and in behind Wilcox. And the Irish are on the board at 2-1. to one. Tough break for Minnesota. Yeah. Their defenseman, Seth Helgeson, really looked like he got his hands tied up. It was a fairly simple play. And look at him, he just couldn't maintain possession. And then all of a sudden, Costello got that step. And first-line players, when they're given a step, good things will happen for them. And you can see he gets around Helgeson, puts that puck on the net. Puck in a high slot to Calabrese. Right from the hash mark, a wheeling deal is blocked in traffic, and there's going to be another penalty here. Yeah, interesting play once again with, with the Fighting Irish on the attack. I think it's going to be another offensive zone faceoff. These, these type of penalties drive coaches bananas. Yes, they do. You take away a scoring chance in your own, and that's one thing, but if you take penalties like this, you can clearly see right in the slot, the trip was made off. Waning seconds of Minnesota's third power play. Lifted up and out and gone by Mike Varan, and that's the end of the power play. And for the third straight man advantage, Minnesota manages only one shot on goal. Better zone control time for the Gophers, but still not a lot there as far as quality chances. And they come back hard. Isaacson with a beautiful head deke and a goal. Christian Isaacson makes it 3-1. How pretty was that? Well, even though Minnesota doesn't have a power play goal, they have two goals in the waning seconds right after the power play. This is one of them, and watch the turnover created on the forecheck right there. And that was A.J. Michaels who did all the dirty work, and then, of course, the brilliant work with the hands by Christian Isis. And look at the patience he had. Side of the net. Made a move on Jeff Costello. And now Bukestad follows through with a hit that's going to draw... I think the penalty had already gone to Notre Dame, actually. And if they missed that on Bukesta, that's a huge miss. And I'll guarantee you, Jeff Jackson and that Notre Dame bench are going to be extraordinarily disappointed. They thought this penalty was on Minnesota. And when you see the replay, you'll see Nick Bukesta with no puck anywhere near the area take down his man. Obviously, the penalty on Notre Dame happened earlier. And you'll see it right there. Nice elbow, no doubt about it. That elbow was up high. Look at Nick protecting his line mate. I'm surprised they aren't taking both. I am too. I thought it was on Nick too. For one on each of the first three. Irish back. Two on one possible. A wicked deflection off the drive by Lucia. And now we're going to have an interference penalty here as Wilcox was sent flying and the net went too. This time it's Mario Lucia who gets the puck in an odd number situation and Kyle Rao on the back check. This is a good penalty. This is a penalty that might take away a Great scoring chance. Watch top of your screen right there. Seven in white, taking his man right through the net. Tied him up. Smart play. You don't want to give Notre Dame. 